I want to be starting this one off with Sentner because really? this is a guy who really impressed everyone at the Call of Duty Ghost Season 3 playoffs. Helped Noble get to a second place finish there. He has not skipped a beat coming into this new game. Yeah, Sender has looked so good right now. Every single time you see this guy play, he's got that hype. And that's what I love about Sender. Ever since I first casted over Sender, I remember just hearing him scream. And I was like, what? what is this guy doing? He's so loud, but he gets pumped up. And I imagine that booth is going to get so loud as well, Puckett. Sender going on the rotation. You can see his teammates in the hard point. They're doing a fantastic job of keeping him clear as he picks up the two-piece. Center pushing now on the spawns, looking for the high ground. Accuracy defending himself as well. Finally, John is going to take oh, out hello. Lawless. And Sender starting things off the way I expected. 3-0. and oh. Also got to give credit to Happy. We we're oh, waiting Sender. to see him for the first time on land. Happy opening things up 5-2. and two. Let's go over to him. This is happy. This is happy. So Snowy says it's 36, is happy. Okay. Easy lead. Okay. Yeah, I mean, OG game attack right there. Oh, that was an OG punch to the back of the face. OG shuts down. Say, can he find the third? No, he can't. He does go down. Sender, he was on the hill too. He's six and one right now, Puckett. And as well as that, Snowy says it's 36. SB rotated four, first. And now you see Lawless causing problems. The hard point about to relocate. There it is. You're going to see his teammates fighting for control. John's picked off. Wall is getting time now. Sender on your mini map lit up, just picked up another big kill. And this is really just going all in a where's way so far in the first minute and a half. Yeah, it, it really is. They have full control of the map. And as you said, SB rotated first, and Aware just kind of ran onto that second hill, completely broke it within a couple of seconds. And that just comes down to Sender. I'm pretty sure I can hear Sender screaming right now. Six kill streak for Wallace on your screen. He has been going off here after a one and three start. Let's go over to center. Ten and two leads all players. He falls off to accuracy. John was causing some problems, but accuracy going to shut it down. Ball is right back into the action. Yep. Send us. He's hit double digits already as well. Looking at that strictly business line, if you go John nine and nine, but the big, big story here is you got Fizz up three and eight and Twiz two and ten. So those two guys really struggling. Yeah, combined 5 Maybe. and 18 is not that's, how you want to start a game. No, within the first two minutes, that's not the best start, Puckett. Okay, I'll be honest. So let's go over to Twiz as he just picks up his third kill. Going to be pushing in. Accuracy spotted. Stun grenade forcing him out there. He's going to be picked off. Fizzer on the opposite end is trying to apply some pressure. Interesting position. Hiding spot from Happy. And Happy just going airborne. Picks up the big kill. John is inside the hard point, but you see the spawns. They're continuing to flood in here from this aware squad, and accuracy and center just broke that hill. Yeah, again, strictly business. Now they have control of that hill. I'm oh, sorry, aware. Now they have control of that hill. Needs to be pushing out. Put the pressure on strictly business. You don't want to just all group up in the hill. Too many times you'll have two, three plays in this hill, and it just isn't the way you want to play it. You want to push out, take the slaying to strictly business in that sense, and I really force strictly business to spawn even further out. You know what I really like about this aware squad? What's that? How often they fight from the air. Everyone seems right. to be it's, very yeah. used to Ghost and kind of being on the ground, aiming down their sights. But right. this this aware squad seems to be like maybe a month ahead of everyone like else. That, They're constantly example. challenging from the air, making it tougher for their opponents to hit them. Yeah, again, every single time you see one of these guys from aware in a 1v1 gunfight, it's nine times out of 10, they're gonna jump. They're gonna just try and add some extra element to make that gunfight a little bit more unexpected for their opposition. And uh, it makes it just a little bit more easier for them as unfortunately Sender does go down, but 14 and 8 still having a fantastic start as that's gonna be a two-piece wow. the third. There's gonna be four there as well. That's a three-piece charge for the fourth. No, it just gets the assist, and all that was done whilst breaking the hard point. Nice play by Happy. He is now 18 and 10, catching fire. That was a five-kill spree. I gotta stay on with this man He's through the respawn. 11. 19 and 11, Puckett. He just turned up on that back kill. And he's got one in the middle as well. Should be able to clean that up. Does so. Spins to the right-hand side. Player jumped up behind him. He did not see that coming. 103 to 56. And I just noticed oh, he's, yeah. he's rocking the extended max. Yes, so, he is. Uh, one of the few players that we've seen this week, and this is a common trend right now over in Europe. It a is. lot of the players giving up uh, the red what, dot? either red dot, quick draw, or grip. And it looks like uh, it's, it's really just going to be 
a huge advantage in hardpoint, especially as Happy now breaches 22 kills, only 13 deaths, almost plus 10, as well as on another streak. He's on the flank. I love this setup here from Aware. We still have five and a half minutes, and, and Happy's about to break, what, 25 kills? Could potentially be a 50 bomb in the making if Happy can continue with this lane power. And again, picking up those kills in mid air. He's just mastered exo movement and exo abilities. Cool. Sender was talking about it. He said, you know, I wanted a team with some old friends. So I called Accuracy and Lawless, and they wanted to play with this Happy Kid. He trusted his friends, and wow, what a good decision that was. Great call. Happy looking incredible here in our first preview on the main stage. On the other side, let's go over to Twiz. This was a guy who actually finished on top of the leaderboard for season three Ghost regular season uh, overall KD. He was the man. Yeah. In this new game, he is not having a great time. 13 and 19, while his teammates are picking up, and Fizzer also very quiet so far. Yeah, Twiz is, uh, this is pretty uncharacteristic from him, from everything I've seen so far this weekend. He's been putting up pretty decent numbers, having good performances, but Fizz really struggling. 10 and 21, obviously, he's known for his SMD, but he can definitely hang in respawn. We saw that at the X Games, for example, last year, when he was playing for Strictly Business, and uh, it was a fantastic performance from him, but these guys, they need just a spur of momentum, I feel, because Aware are just pulling away. You know, it was 50 points, now it's 70 points. It just feels like with the way that this game is going, it's only a moment of time, really, before Aware can put the W. Happy continuing to rotate around this map. You can see those red arrows. The two split out to the right. Happy's going to go far left. Player right behind him. He's not going to last long here. Did juke him out momentarily, but center already in this hard point. And here at the top of the map, we got Lawless trying to pinch in. Lawless drops down. He's going to be out through the kill. No, he is not. However, the hard point is contested. It was Happy who just single-handedly broke that hill. Actually gives a little bit of support, but John was prowling up top, and he managed to retake the hill, but he goes down. And once again, the hard point under strictly business control, and it's Fizz who just needs to try and stay alive and get some points back. Fizz are going for some pogo shots. He's dropped on. Now, the one thing I will say about Fizzerp as he struggles to pick up the kill there, he's definitely focusing on being in the hard point as much as he can. Every right, spawn, yeah. he is going right to that action. He's not one of those players that's going to be roaming around the hard point, picking up kills. And look at that kill feed. Fizz getting two, Twiz getting two. It's been all blue as SB's trying to mount a comeback. They nice brought it back shot. within 60 points. This is key though, the rotation for Sin is all by himself. He needs to stay alive in this position. Can't afford to die, and he has done this one more player there, but you can see those red arrows getting the favorable spawns. Of course, that is aware gaming. So now Twiz has to try and break the setup that Strictly Business have locked in, and it has not gone well, Strictly Business not able to do so in a wet. They're just going to leave Accuracy on this hill. Everyone else is going to push out, take the fight to Strictly Business. You can see Accuracy getting ready for the push. Wasn't able to pick up the kill. Sender struggling on the outside. It's all up to Happy to stay alive here. He falls. Nice break as it was Twiz on a three kill spree working with Sin to get into this back hard point. Now, in about 30 seconds, this hard point will rotate to the opposite side of the map. If SB wants any chance of coming back in this game, they have to be there first. Yep, but they also can't afford to give away too much time here, so even that scrap time is going to be worth it. Twiz is going to be on that hill. He needs to win this gunfight, does so. That's big. Now, looking at that mini-map, how many blue arrows are they going to be at that other side of the map? It's literally the exact opposite side of the map. You can see a gunfight going down at the bottom. That yellow arrow has picked that up. That was Sin, but the hard point has rotated, and SB, then not there. They are not, and they are going to be met with so much fire as well as grenades. Twiz on the far left is going to watch two of his teammates fall on the right side. Fizzer does get one, but I mean, Twiz, you reached the top, brother, but you're not going to last long, says Sender. Takes him down, 33 kills already for Sender. Happy, a kill away from his 40, Bob. There it is. Sin also, we should mention, 38 and 31, six caps. He's had a pretty decent game in the slaying category, but when it comes down to holding a hard point, SB have just not looked as good as a lot. And we're down now to the last 75 seconds of this game. A 50-point advantage. Yep. Send up 37 and 27. Is he going to get his 41 too? He's currently on a four streak. Has to get the reload. Is he going to get a kill? Yes, he No, That's the assist, actually. But still managed to keep himself alive. As you want to know who stole the kill? It was it this man? This guy. Snowy he says it's 36, AKA. a.k.a. Happy. Senior Happy, senor. getting it done. Why is it Senor Happy? I don't know. I like, you like senor. senor and, and Senorita. 
It sounds fun. To uh, accuracy in the mix here with Happy. Happy doing a nice job taking fire, staying alive, relocating and confusing that opponent. There's the jump shots on John. John did fall and Happy, instead of engaging, just dips out. I like this decision. I'm looking at the hard point. I mean, we have SB in here. The time, not enough, though, to mount this comeback. Now they're just fighting for pride. Sender and the boys trying to get to that 250 mark. And now it's a battle to see who is going to get the second and third most kills on this squad. Sender does reach his 40 bomb. You got Lawless and Accuracy fighting for 35. Yeah, just the, looking at that slaying column, you know, 41 kills for Sender. You got 32 kills, 43 kills, and 30 kills. That was just out slaying by where. Aware getting fired up. That's what we come to expect from Sender, Happy, Accuracy, and Lawless. They came in. They dominated the 10K going all the way to the finals against Optic Gaming. There, they started this weekend with a big win over Envy. They control their future here as they want to come out with that number one seed from Pool D. Yeah, that number one seed would be huge. And that's what really is so important about this game. SP. Don't, you know, count them out just yet. Of course, we do go over to Search and Destroy as our second game type in the best of five. That's kind of what we expect Strictly Business to be pretty dominant at. All right, guys, don't go anywhere. Game number two, S&D, when we come back.